Yo guys, what is up? Max in our Starfield video, and today we're going over how to get overpowered very early on in Starfield. Now, we're going to be getting overpowered by doing one specific mission. Now, you get this mission quite early in the game. It is a little bit more challenging, so I'm going to be going over what you need in order to do this mission. However, when you complete this mission and while you're doing it, you're going to find a full legendary armor set. Uh, that set is going to grant you the chameleon buff, which will give you invisibility whenever you're standing still, which is like so strong. If you're doing any sort of stealth playthrough or going for a stealth build, it'll grant you some of the strongest weapons that you'll see in your time playing the game. Um, I've played the game now for like 15 hours, and uh, this is still the best weapon I've gotten is this 199 physical damage bridger that I got from doing this mission and you can do this mission within your first few hours of playing the game and it's also going to give you a brand new spaceship uh that is right it is uh one of the fastest ways to get a new ship it's an upgraded ship from the base version uh, it'll give you faster uh speed in the ship and it's much more upgradable than the one that you start out with so we're gonna be going over everything you need to know hope you guys enjoy the video let's get right into it so the first thing that you're gonna want to have when you're coming here to make the most out of your journey for this mission is security and you're going to want rank two there are multiple expert level chests i didn't see anything higher than expert level and that's where a lot of the craziest gear is going to be coming from so if you're going to take the journey out to do this mission make sure that you have expert level two for your security the only other thing you're going to need for this mission is some decent weapons they don't need to be anything crazy i use this suppressed lawgiver for most of my first time doing this mission uh just to take out enemies and keep moving on uh, shotguns are great for this mission because it's a lot of close range fighting. Assault rifles are good. Uh, just something to, that you can kill some higher level enemies with and you're all ready to go. Now the mission that's going to give us all of this loot and the spaceship is called Mantis. Now you are going to encounter this randomly within your first few hours of playing it. On my very first playthrough i got it while doing the very first main story quest uh it just kind of randomly drops for you it'll say like secret outpost and then you listen to the audio tape and it'll say mantis and then it'll give you instructions on how to proceed on my second playthrough uh this dropped for me from a random enemy within my first five hours of playing once again it's like a little audio log that says secret outpost you listen to it and then it'll give you the mantis quest so it does seem kind of random but it does seem very consistent that it will show up for you within your first few hours of playing for the mission, you're basically killing a bunch of enemies working your way down here uh, until you get to, the, to this open room. Uh, this safe is an expert safe. This is where I got my first, like, crazy-looking uh, weapon. This thing, this, like, explosive launcher weapon. Um, and then there's an NPC. You can choose what you want to do with them. Uh, there's a puzzle room that you can just blow up the turrets, or you can just, like, uh, like jump over and fly above the puzzle. Uh, if you've got a boost pack and time that well, uh, you can just, like, run through it and ignore it uh but the turrets are kind of important to kill because they will hurt you a lot um and then you just run through all of these doors with a bunch of robots and then you'll get into this like big open space once you're here you're gonna get your new ship and just make sure that you take this left turn uh, and go all the way through this left do not get distracted by the big ship and this mannequin is where you are going to find the full legendary set of armor uh, it's, you're going to get the Mantis set. You get the Mantis spacesuit, the Mantis backpack, which is going to give you chameleon, corrosive resistance, chance to reflect attacks, and a boost pack. The, like, helmet gives you chameleon, liquid-cooled resistance, and chance to ignite nearby attackers with incendiary damage. And the helmet gives you reduced incoming energy damage, radiation resistance, and a chance to reflect attacks. It's a really good armor set, super strong to start out, and paired with a good weapon, uh, especially if you want to go stealth, is just like S-tier armor to have. And then there's also, once you're in this room, our second big expert lock chest uh, is going to be this weapon crate. You can get some pretty crazy things out of here. And yeah, that is kind of the mission. Um, and then we'll go over to this spaceship. After you activate the launch pad, your new ship will come up to this big platform, uh, which is freaking massive. It's easily twice as big as the starting ship, um, and it's got so much more room for potential upgrades, and it's gonna save you like hundreds of thousands of dollars just instead of buying a new ship, just getting this one. Um, so yeah, guys, that is it for the video. We're now aboard our new ship. Let's go check it out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. I will have a ton of Starfield videos. I've been absolutely loving this game. There's so much to discover, so much to explore. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a blast with it. Uh, we've even got like loot on the spaceship for us. 
That is awesome. Oh, it's got a bunch of weapon cases that you could store all your weapons in. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, you could use all of these things as storage to store to store weapons in. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, that's our new ship. Guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Peace.